Welcome to the Vitamins and Nutrients YouTube channel. The topic of today's video is flavonoids. Flavonoids are a group of naturally occurring compounds that are found in a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and, yes, chocolate. They are a type of polyphenol and have been studied for their potential health benefits. Some of the potential benefits of flavonoids include antioxidant properties, which may help to protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. They may also have anti-inflammatory properties, which may be beneficial for reducing the risk of certain chronic diseases. Additionally, some flavonoids may have anti-cancer properties and may help to lower blood pressure, improve blood flow, and improve cognitive function. Flavonoids are also known to have cardiovascular benefits. They can help in preventing blood clots, reduce inflammation and improve the health of blood vessels. Studies have shown that a diet rich in flavonoids is associated with a lower risk of heart disease. Flavonoids also have antiviral and antibacterial properties, which makes them a potential target for the treatment of various infections. It is important to note that while flavonoids have been linked to these potential health benefits, more research is needed to confirm these effects and to determine the optimal intake levels for various flavonoids. Additionally, flavonoids have different types and each type has different properties and mechanisms. Some of the most well-known types of flavonoids include catechines, anthocyanins, and flavanols. They are found in different types of foods and plants, such as cocoa, tea, berries, and red wine. There are many different foods that are rich in flavonoids. Some of the best sources include Berries, particularly strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, are all high in flavonoids. Apples, apricots, plums, grapes, and other fruits are also good sources. Dark chocolate and cocoa powder are also rich in flavonoids, particularly a type called flavanols. Tea, both green and black tea, is also high in flavonoids. Vegetables such as onions, leeks, and scallions are also good sources. Legumes and nuts, such as soybeans, lentils, and almonds, are also good sources. Red wine is also a good source of flavonoids, particularly a type called resveratrol. It's important to note that the flavonoid content of foods can vary depending on factors such as growing conditions, harvesting, and processing methods. Additionally, cooking and processing can cause a significant decrease in the flavonoid content. The best way to consume flavonoids is through eating fresh fruits and vegetables, and drinking tea or wine in moderation. While flavonoids are generally considered to be safe and beneficial, it's possible to consume too much. Consuming high amounts of flavonoids can lead to side effects such as Stomach upset Consuming large amounts of some flavonoids, such as quercetin, can cause stomach upset, nausea, and diarrhea. Interactions with medications Some flavonoids, such as rutin, can interact with blood-thinning medications, increasing the risk of bleeding. Allergic reactions People who are sensitive or allergic to certain plants may also be sensitive to the flavonoids found in those plants. High intake of alcohol containing flavonoids from wine can lead to negative effects on liver and pancreas, and increase the risk of cancer. The safe upper limit for flavonoids intake is not clearly established, but it is generally recommended to consume flavonoids-rich foods in moderation. It's always best to consult with a doctor or a dietitian if you are worried about your flavonoids intake and how it may affect your health. There are no specific symptoms of flavonoid deficiency, since flavonoids are not considered essential nutrients, meaning that the human body does not require them to function properly. However, a diet low in fruits and vegetables, which are major sources of flavonoids, may be associated with an increased risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and stroke. Additionally, 
A diet low in flavonoids may be associated with a higher risk of certain health problems, such as increased inflammation. Flavonoids have anti-inflammatory properties, so a lack of flavonoids in the diet may lead to increased inflammation throughout the body. Increased oxidative stress. Flavonoids have antioxidant properties, so a lack of flavonoids in the diet may lead to an increase in oxidative stress, which can damage cells and contribute to the development of chronic diseases. Increased risk of heart disease. Flavonoids have been shown to have beneficial effects on heart health, so a lack of flavonoids in the diet may increase the risk of heart disease. It's important to note that these symptoms can be caused by other factors as well, and it's best to consult with a doctor or a dietitian if you are concerned about your flavonoids intake. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.